Welcome back to the new garage. This is this is the new space, mate. This is the new it's incredible. The new yeah. space we're going to be doing our videos. It's opulent. I feel so opulent. comfortable. We've got lovely yeah. chairs. Incredible. We're comfortable. We've got a fridge. We're full of beer. It is <laughs> what unbelievable. More could you ask yeah. for? I brought a scarf because I couldn't find my cravat. <laughs> <laughs> He's dressed up for this and everything. You've got a, you've got a tux on there, haven't you? <laughs> Welcome along, guys. Well, in this video, I'm very aware I haven't done any sort of best of. 2022 or there's been no new year video so this is a bit of a belated happy new year video basically and what we're going to do we've got Gregoire with us obviously and what we're going to do is run through some of the best new bikes coming for 2023 yeah what we think are the ones we're most excited about so uh, if that sounds of interest grab yourself something alcoholic sit back make yourself comfortable and chopsy roll the intro Have a look at the list of bikes to run through. So we, uh, bikes we, we're gonna chat about. Yeah, that, we, we haven't memorized every single bike we've got on here, but we've got a few things to talk about. So the first one I want to bring up is the new BMW M1000R and the, and the double R as well. Yep. I think the M1000R does look a bit tasty, doesn't it? It's it got it's really got the S1000 double R power. It's got the wings. Got the shift cam. It's got a shift cam engine that basically. It's engine. actually that's the, that's the big difference, isn't it? That's the big difference. So yeah. wing, wings and the engine yeah. and trinkets. And it's got the new 2022 S1000 double R engine in it. So yeah. not even the old one, which I think is another five brake horsepower or yeah. three brake horsepower. And last year in the summer, you had the yeah. S1000R, Single which R. had quite a lot of extras on, didn't it? Yeah. But obviously last year's model, and we both really yeah, enjoyed you, it. Yeah, you had we? a quick go on that one. I had a quick go on it. You obviously did a few reviews yeah. on it, and, and it was good, wasn't it? And actually. It was so quick anyway. <laughs> it was fast. I think the single uh, uh, single R version with the shift cam yeah, engine is going to be. Incredible. I think. But it's, I think it's the most powerful naked or something, isn't it? Because it's actually more powerful yeah. than the um, Street Fighter before, yeah, which is crazy. Which is crazy. So yeah. and and because it's a straight four, it's going to be very manageable and really easy to ride lower down. So I know we, we've done reviews of the the, the V four. Yeah. Um, Street Fighter, haven't we both yeah. found it hard work and all, you know, all these other things. But I think because this has got that straight forward, it's going to be smooth. Smooth, it's... easy to live with, and then just like bonkers at the top. Bonkers. But there have been uh, reviews already. The launch was in yeah. Spain, was it Spain? Uh, something like that, yeah. Yeah, so Spain. why weren't you there? What happened? I don't know. BMW, <laughs> oh, what? what happened? <laughs> what? Why, why weren't we there? I, I assumed wrongly that you'd got the invite and you'd snubbed them because you were far too busy. But <laughs> Unfortunately <laughs> not. I would have loved a, a, a couple of days in Spain in, in, in oh, December no. or whatever it was. Okay, yeah, no well, there you go. So we would have been able to provide more info and a bit of feedback on how it was to yeah. ride. Yeah. So but if you want to see that, then I guess it's over to... Username Kate. Username, username Kate. Kate did a nice little review on that. The leather split. There I you think go. So a bit of a plug for Username Kate. If you want to find out what it's like, first file impressions on the road and track, I think. Uh, road and did, track, yeah. I think she's a little it, bit yeah. on track as well. But, yeah, but anyway, a, amazing bike. So what's the price then? Give us the right, right, down specs, some of the specs. Some of the specs. Specs, specs, specs. It's 199 kilos, which I think is a similar sort of weight to the it's old one. Yeah, it's pretty pretty damn light. 210 horsepower. It's crazy, it's and that'll lot. be manageable power, you know. Yeah. Well, obviously, when it gets to eight grand, it's gonna, it's gonna light up. It's it? gonna be amazing. <laughs> it's it's gonna it? light up, and it's nineteen four, which I don't. It's a lot of money, but I don't think that's too ridiculous. No, because I think a Super Duke Evo, that's which, about which, that which, which I get, which I guess is similar. It's, it's about late seventeens, eighteen, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Which, of course, they're all a lot of money, but yeah. I would have thought the M version of a BMW would be beyond reach of most people in society and yeah. I'm not suggesting that that price is low but it's it's sort of there or thereabouts to say that it's the absolute well, it's still showpiece. A, a chunk less than the Street Fighter V4 yes. so yeah and you think you know the the last year's M double R was what, 26 or something was it you know yeah, that was right. serious money yeah so I mean no it's 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 a lot of money I'm not saying it isn't a lot of money but and they do it, two versions John don't they do they do a uh, the, the standard version of the M1000, yeah. sorry, the, yeah, the M1000R yeah. is white-ish. And then they do a That's black right. version, You're... which is dripping in carbon. Exactly, and that one's and that like 20-something. And that is 
getting into ridiculous yeah, levels of money, isn't you're, it? You're very right. That yeah, black yeah. one with all the carbon, I think it's like 24 or something. Exactly, and I think yeah. that was the one that was at the um, NEC show, it was. wasn't it, back it in was. late November, early it December. Was. That was the yeah. trinket. So, the, so that yeah. 19480 is the starting yeah. price. That's the naked version, and then of course they've got the double R. The double R, which is, again looks, well, it's all just homologated for more superbike, isn't it? It's just Scott Redding yeah. can try and ca catch yeah. up with Baptista, basically. Yeah. It, it looks incredible. Again, that is silly money, though. That's sort of 30 grandish, I yeah. think. Yeah. And the thing I don't like, you know, the M bikes, especially that one, that doesn't have electronic suspension. It has like the basic suspension on it. It's the same as the M1000 RR last year. Yeah. So you don't get the electronic suspension because the assumption is it'll just get ripped off. Well, I, don't, I don't think it's an it. assumption. I think it's exactly what's going to happen. Well, yeah, but, but so there is no point, is there? Yeah, but if you did, I would quite... You know, I'd love one of those on the road, though, but it would really put me off the but fact that you don't get, that you don't get suspension. So it's almost worse than the S1000 Yeah, double exactly. R. The, S, the new S1000 R, which I suppose we should also mention because that's been, had quite a big overhaul for this year, hasn't it? Yeah. I mean, that's got... I mean, I borrowed one, had one on long-term loan the year before last. Yeah. Absolutely loved it. You yeah. know, it's such a good road. And what's the difference on the S1000 double R? 2023 model that's got the wings is that ma is it mainly cosmetic and the no, wings no it's got the or? wings it's got this it's got the m engine in it more or less so it's got okay. the same power which is that 210 horsepower which is what's yeah. in the single okay, so the so single r so it's got that later development engine okay. revised you know uh, wings and whatnot yeah. ergonomics but yeah, okay. but yeah i think that is also going to be incredible so i think bmw have got some real yeah. Corkers coming, and we will be riding all that. Maybe not the uh, not, M not the M thousand double, double R. I think that's probably a stretch. <laughs> probably a stretch. Maybe if they've got one BMW on the fleet, the UK fleet. I don't think they have. I think they've said no. they're not getting one. So yeah. probably will be riding that one, but we'll definitely be riding the M double R. And I think we'll do no. a comparison. No, the, the M, M single, single R. R. Sorry. Yeah. We'll definitely do a comparison video with that bike and something else. Yeah. So whatever. Need to, yeah, maybe you're something in the comments over what you feel is the best or closest competitor to the new yes. M1000 single R. Yes. I think Super Duke Evo may be there. There's the Tawono, certainly the Ducati, yeah. Street Fighter. Yeah. But maybe a bit yeah, of feedback. I, I, think, I think because it's a straight four, I think you've got to compare it to another straight four. So I'm, you can't compare it to the Suzuki. No, no. <laughs> yes, I, I, I'm thinking the MV, MV Brutale 1000, oh. the RS version. Okay. Because right. that is about 21. Yeah. So it's a little bit more, but only a thousand or so. Yeah, yeah. And it's a straight So do you want Itali Italian exotica versus or Germanic engineering? Exactly. And precision. And I think that will be the comparison video to do. And yeah. Wheels Motorcycle should have an RS Brutale. They did last year. Yeah. So if they have, we can compare those quite easily. And I think that will be the battle of the 1,000cc straight four. Yeah, that will be good. And Italian yeah. versus Germanic, like you yeah. say. So, and the right. MV Augustas, they're obviously a lot rarer, aren't they, yeah. than the BM. So, so that will be, so be a good comparison, there. I think. I think yeah. a good comparison. We're just, the prices just keep creeping up, don't they? It's only 18, 19. That one's only 21. <laughs> so Let's go all in. Get the Oreo, yeah, wherever it is, exactly. for 20, 30 or whatever. Good. All right. What's, what's next here. then on the list for 2023? So next on my little listy is the new Ducati Diavel V4. Yeah, that's an interesting bike, mm. isn't it? And we borrowed the, the twin version of that, I think it was year before last. It was year before last, yeah. Really loved it. Preferred the Rocket 3. If you want that sort of big cruisery muscle bike, yeah. but it, it was it was more agile than a rocket, it handled better mm. than a rocket. But you know, it's, it, it's that Ducati twin. You know, you, you've got below three thousand revs, it's rattling your teeth out, and it, it revs out at like mm. eight grand or whatever. But that I V4, think we, we both liked it though, didn't we? Oh, I really liked it. It's just that really liked on it. balance. I think we thought the Rocket Three from Triumph was just a better overall yeah. package. Probably worse in some ways, in the sense that it wasn't quite as quick in the handling. A lot state heavier as well, and heavier, heavier and all those things. But yeah. just for a sort of super fast cruiser, I guess they are. We thought the Rocket Three was better, but the Diablo still good. I think the V4 That's is I mean. going to bring it to the Rocket Three yeah, exactly. because it's going to be a rocket ship. <laughs> <laughs> literally, a rocket literally ship. a rocket ship. So I presume it's the same engine as the Multistrada V4. Exactly. Yeah. Same power. It, it's same, the same I think it's the Gran Turismo motor they call it, and, and yeah. in in the V4 Multi because we you know. Being honest, we didn't really like the Street Fighter, did we? We found it quite an aggressive. You know, yeah. with the Desmo heads. 
The Gran Turismo engine, which is in the Multistrada, is a much more smooth. I've not tried it. You've tried no, it. no, you haven't. Yeah, I've you, tried you, it a few times. The yeah, a few yeah, times. Yeah. Yeah. It's really, really good engine. Yeah, so it's sort of like it works for that engine exactly. on the road, exactly. engine braking, just the whole feel of it's better. And that's it? going to be in a Diavel. So which means it's yeah. it should be it, it should, should be, be really good. It's a bit less power. It's 168 horsepower, which is still ridiculous. But well, it's, is it's that less than the Multi, is it? It's, it's about it's the same as the multi, same as the multi but it's less than the Street, Street Fighter, Fighter which is the 200 yeah. sort yeah. of power yeah. figures, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that's going to be a really, really yeah. nice bike. And what's the price? Price on that one is 23 and a half. But that's so the S. That's for the S. So and that I presume has... they'll, do a, they'll do a base model. Yeah. Base model. You're Ducatis right. The, the, the base right. model's probably pushing... Four grand less, four I reckon, grand normally, less isn't it? Yeah. 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 And I guess you get Olins on the S and exactly. some carbon and... Yeah. Yeah, just yeah. nicer wheels, I think. Nicer yeah. wheels. Yeah. So, so that will be, I think, a, a fantastic money, though, bike. But it, it's a lot of money. But it will be good. I think the Rocket's about 21 now. That's sort of creeping up as well. Yeah. So yeah. I think that's a definite comparison. So we need to compare that new V4 yeah. Diavel against the Rocket 3. Yeah. So yeah. it's early 2023. By the time we get to 2024, we'll be impressed when any bike's under 30 grand, won't we? <laughs> <laughs> We will. It's under 30 grand. It's a bargain. Yeah, it's a it's bargain. bargain. Rush out and buy it now. Change. But anyway, so do you think we'll be able to get the Diavel? Mm. Yeah, so Diavel definitely. test, very good. Might be able to get the Rocket 3 again to definitely do a bit of a back to back. We can definitely do that video. We can definitely do that that'd comparison. Be good. The I same format really good. as what we did the, the Honda, um, yeah. the, the Goldwing and the K1600. Yeah. We both do a first ride. Yeah. Mind you, we've both ridden the Rocket 3, haven't we? But Can't do a first ride on the Rocket 3. Well, you could do a first ride reminder. Maybe. Yeah, we could do just a It's been a while, it's hasn't it? It's been a while. Yeah, it's, it's been, been a while. And then we do the big comparison and we swap. And yeah, no, very we, good. We let you know which one's best. Good. But, um, What's next? Next on the list is going from the V4, the £23,500 Diavel, to the £7,000 Honda Hornet. This, this is their right. new, Honda's new entry into that parallel twin sort yep. of race, you know, with the, with the MT-07, um, the uh, KTM, of course, is the 690, not the 690, no, 790, 790, 790 Duke. 790 Duke, that parallel yeah. twin. Because weirdly, the 790 Duke, just very quickly, was an 890. It's, yeah. So they had a 790 originally, yeah. and then an 890 Duke R. Yeah. And then last year, the 790 base Duke was upgraded to so an, an 890, 890. but yeah. weirdly, for 2023, they've gone back to a 790. It's lost 100 cc. Which I reason. don't understand. No. Because there's no explanation for it online. No. It's just what they've done. So yeah. there you are. But anyway, I digress. Yeah, no, no. So I, I don't know what's happening there, but right. it's, it's that, it's that, uh, it's 755 cc, yep. 6999 on the road. It's It's got the um, parallel twin, but with the, what do you call it? The reverse cranky. Yeah. Okay. What's it called? You, you know what I mean. You know yeah. what I mean. The yeah. uh, cross plane. Cross plane crank. Cross plane crank. Reverse, that's that's, that's cross plane crank. <laughs> yeah. Cross plane crank. That's what I'm thinking of. So yeah. it's got the cross plane crank. So that should be punchy. It should sound yeah, very nice. Sound, sound nice. It yeah. sounds like that'd be a good bike, actually. It does. And it's yeah. seven thousand pounds. Seventy three horsepower. Yeah. Which and actually. It's not is, bad. It's yeah. not bad. Is it's, it? it's not bad. And it's one hundred and ninety kilos. So relatively light. Yeah. I think that would be a good bike. So, okay. hopefully, I'm buying one of those in February as well from Honda. So, and is there news about the Trans Alp? Trans Alp, yeah. So the Trans Alp is using that same engine, yeah. engine base, but basically in a sort of small middleweight sort of adventure bike. Yeah. So sort of an 800 cc adventure bike, a bit like what we well, must. It's on the list Why actually. Why they call it a Trans Alp and not a V-Strom? Well, because it's a Suzuki V-Strom, isn't it? Oh yeah. It's fun, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Well, that's a good point on the V-Strom, though. As you can tell, the beer's kicking in nicely. <laughs> the V-Strom... I thought we were here to talk about cars. <laughs> <laughs> well, Suzuki have done the same thing, haven't they? Because they've just brought out this GS... We'll talk about that now as we've nicely sort of moved on what to that. Segway. What that's a segue. What a segue. Segway. Perfect segue. Segway. The uh, Suzuki GS8S. I can never remember what to call it because it's the most bizarre name I've ever heard. The Suzuki G GS8S. GS8 God, that's an awful thing to say, that's, isn't it? It's awful. Yeah. I, I don't know what the 8... What's the 8? It's the 800cc, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. Just but under, I guess. Isn't don't it? don't like it. Don't no. like the naming of that one. But that's... 8,000, 7,999, that's 80 horsepower. So, Is that, is that a direct competitor to the new Hornet? It's a direct competitor to the new Hornet. Yeah, and, and the KTM and the MT-07, all MT -07, that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's a 776cc, so same, same engine size, 202 kilos. It's a little bit heavier, 10 kilos heavier. Okay. but And that's also the uh, reverse crank. Cross-plane cross crank. Cross-plane crank. That's also the cross-plane crank. So that's <laughs> a direct <laughs> competitor. <laughs> And and the V-Strom's got that, the new V-Strom 800's got that same engine in it. So 
exactly the same as the trans out. Okay. So they're again direct competitors. God, so blimey. we're going to have to do. That's another comparison. Yeah. We're going to be busy this year. We I are going to be busy. busy. <laughs> I actually think those. I'm not a massive lover personally of the adventure bikes, yeah. but I but I see the appeal, and I think those lighter weight parallel twin versions versus yeah. like a GS or the big KTM's. I think they actually yeah. make a lot of sense yeah. because you could do a little bit of soft off roading. And you haven't got that massive bulk and weight. You haven't you? got the weight. And, that, and you that's don't issue, need, you don't need over 100 horsepower no, off road. You, you no, really don't. No, no. And so I think they'd probably be good bike tracks. Yeah. Probably something that you could get a little bit out of shape on, and you know, sort of drop, but enough strength to keep it upright. I think yeah. it'd be good. Yeah. So the V-Strom and the Trans out. That's a that's a that's a comparison for us. And the GS GS 8S and the Hornet. That, that's another comparison. So. And they're all. Eight nine grand price. They're all they're well. The, the, the Hornet's seven and the yeah. Suzuki's eight. And what's what's the wonder what the seven ninety KTM's going to be? Is that about the same sort of money? Eight grand maybe. I think it may be a little more. Yeah, but we'll have a little to bit. Check. More. I'm going to say it's over nine. It's more nine. Yeah, thing. I think mm. so. But, well, what, maybe but again, I don't think that they're in my opinion. The price bracket shouldn't be enough to sway the decision. No, it's no. going to be. Yeah. That's the one that suits me better. Well, what we'll do, the, prefer, the winner of that comparison, we'll put it against the KTM. Fine. We'll put it against Particularly the KTM. Particularly if it's the dearest. Yeah, exactly. And then that's, that'll be good. Yeah. Actually, so yeah. the winner will be another comparison with, yeah. with the KTM. I think yeah. that'll and I, I mean, well. I love KTMs. We both love KTMs. We've both got KTMs. But um, there are some sort of horror stories occasionally, aren't there, on reliability yeah, of KTMs. Yeah. I, I touch wood. Well, we, I, I've always been fed really well with KTM, yeah. so I don't want to criticise them at all. You've, you've got the 690, you've had the, the 890R. Had yeah, I've had a Super Duke. You've had a Super Duke. Yeah, and I've, I've never had any issues at all. Yeah. Not any at all. Same here. Yeah. I've had a Super Duke. I've had the, the 690. Yeah. I've had some, off, I've had a well, 200 two stroke. Well. And the 701, of course. And the 701 Huskies, like which are essentially, bike. I know. Never yeah. had an issue. No, never never had an issue. So. Yeah. But I, there are stories on there. They can't be made up, can they? Well, yeah, yeah. I think, a lot, I think, I don't know. Well, uh, yeah, it's it's hard to say, but yeah. what we can say is we've had a few of them and we've never had a problem. So I always take those stories with a little bit of a pinch of salt, but yeah, we'll see. Okay, we'll What's see. Next? What is next is the new street triples. Now we saw, we saw these at Motorcycle Live, didn't we? We did. And I think that that mo just talk first about the Moto Two one. It looks amazing, doesn't it? <laughs> Especially in that like yellow, yeah, rossy, yeah. fluorescent paint yeah. scheme. So there's two colours. Limited numbers, yeah, 765 of each, yes, exactly. I believe for the UK. I've no idea how many have sold. No, yet. I don't know if there's any availability still. Yeah, but no, I think what they 13 something, they're I think, four, for in round numbers, they're 14, are they 000, 14? Okay. which sounds like a lot. But when you see one, for those that haven't seen them, they do look yeah. so special. Yeah, clip ons, even though it's a naked, yeah. Olin's front and rear. Um, they look amazing. The riding power, position, 100, 130. Yeah, the riding position looks from, like it's going to be really good. It, it looks incredible. Yeah. It looks aggressive, but not desperately yeah. uncomfortable. 130 horsepower. On, it's a on lot, those isn't it? And it's, it's a, a light power, bike. It's a very, as well. very light bike. Yeah. 166 kilos dry. I mean, it's, it's a light be bike. It's it is going to be bike. unbelievable because because historically the RS version of the Street Triple, the direct competitor, was the KTM Duke 890R. Yeah. And I think on most of the back to backs, the KTM pipped it just, yeah. even though I think most people thought the Triumph was more refined and yeah. a little bit easier to live with and smoother. But the KTM is obviously it's a, a bit more aggressive, bike. I think. Wasn't yeah, it? and, it's, and the, yeah. the 890 Duke R is superb bike. There's no yeah. well, you've had one, you they're both They're both yeah. very good. I think the Moto 2 version is going to be yeah. unbelievable. I'd yeah. love one yeah. I, I, in the stable. I, I think the standard RS will be fantastic. It'll be well. brilliant anyway. Yeah. Yeah. But but that yeah, they'll both be good. I think the new RS is also going to be exceptionally good and I think Triumph yeah. really got I think it's probably my favourite Triumph, I think. Uh, yeah, the, I mean yeah. the old RS was great. The, yeah. I, I think I could I because you've had one of those as well, haven't you? You've I've had one, one of those. I've owned one. <laughs> of course. <laughs> you said everything. Yeah, it'd be quicker to talk about bikes that I've not owned. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm bankrupt everybody. <laughs> So yeah, I, I think the R. I love the old RS. Yeah. Being a bigger guy, it's a bit of a small bike. So I mean, if if, if I was a, a normal size person, I think I'd have one of them because I think they're absolutely fantastic. A normal size, a normal person. size person, but they're they're, they're a very they're fine to ride, but you just look like a gorilla on a pit bike, yeah, right? Yeah, they are small, compact. Bikes, I don't have they? such. Problems. <laughs> You're a bit more average size. A bit more average size, but no, they they are great bikes. They're great fun to ride, aren't they? 
you know, and I think in a lot yeah. of ways, certainly historically, we preferred it to the speed triple, haven't we? The bigger. Thousand, yeah, we've done that comparison. We've done that comparison we? yeah, yeah. quite a few years ago. Yeah, well, yeah. not the new three. speed triple, the old one. We need yeah. to do that. Maybe we need to, that's, that's another comparison video. The, 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 the new so. RS versus the new RS speed triple. Yeah. Because that's, that's we're, be we're going to be busy. Be we're going to be busy this so, year. Yeah, Triumph, I think, onto something there with both of that. The RS, the Moto2, yeah, fantastic bikes. Yeah, yeah and they the, look really, really good. The Moto2, well. yeah, the Moto2 one, I, I, well, hopefully they've kept one behind on the press fleet yeah. just to try because I, I really want to try that. I think it looks yeah, really good, doesn't it? And for 13 grand, nearly 14,000 for a bike, which is limited numbers. Well, the other, the Moto2 Daytona they did, that was like 18, wasn't it? Yeah. So for, to be sort of 14, it's like, well, it's affordable, yeah, you know, and it, it's, it looks incredible. So Yeah, I think the thing it sort of potentially lacks is just pub bragging rights because it's a 765 and it's yeah. 130 horsepower. But actually, forget all of that. Mm. It looks amazing. And actually, it's less than the Tuono, um, the Speed Triple yeah. RS, stan yes, um, yeah, yeah. I was going to say standard because it's, a, they don't do a Moto2 version. But it's cheaper than that, and actually, it's quite exotic, and it, it, I think it will hold its money. And for 130 I'll horsepower, and I wouldn't be surprised if they go up in value. Yeah, that, in, in, uh, yeah, in you could years. be right. Yeah. That could be the sort. I know Triumph for bringing out these Bond edition and all these yeah. other sorts. Of, they're doing a lot of special editions, aren't they? But yeah. that that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. And the Bond editions, colors. I'm not so sure about. No, I'm not, I'm not so sure. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I think they could plummet in value because you're trying to imitate. Apologies for anyone that I like the scrambler one they did because that made sense because that was in the movie. <laughs> but, that, but now they're coming out with the RR, the speed RR. They're doing that in the Bond it's edition. It's like no, I couldn't buy a watch me. that was a James Bond special. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't drive an Aston Martin because it's like a wannabe James Bond, isn't it? Especially if you had massive 007 stickers down the side. Just too ugly and just not sophisticated <laughs> enough to try and imitate James Bond. Do you want another martini, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Right, what's next? I think that's it. Oh, that's it? <laughs> Not that so is, many. Oh no, there's one more bike, one oh, more bike. The Moto Guzzi V100 S. Oh, the on the non S. Yeah. But I think this this came out sort of end of last year, didn't it? And there's been a few sort of videos. And so this, actually, is a, this is a road bike dressed up as a sports tour. Uh, yeah, I, I think what, what basically is it's the new um, Moto Guzzi engine. So they, they've yep. it's now water cooled because obviously historically they've always been air cooled. Yeah. They've is not it had the first water cooled Moto Guzzi? I think the it's the first ever, ever water cooled Moto Guzzi. Yeah. Um, 115 horsepower. So. Decent, Decent power. reasonable power. And big CC, so it's going to be grunty, isn't it? It's going to be grunty. Loads it's of going to be grunty. And, it, and the, I think the most exciting thing about it is this sort of active aero it's got, where you've right. got servos which bring out yep. the wings on the side As and you, you get go over a certain speed. And I think that's, you know, that, that's... Which I think you can turn off. You can turn off, but yeah. I think that's sort of really innovative. That's the first bike yeah. ever to have that no. sort of technology on. And it sort of makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Because... Yeah. I think it looks really good. Yeah. It looks lovely. It looks different. Yeah. I think in the real world, it'd be great. It's single-sided swing arm with shaft yeah. drive, which I think is really quite nice. Yeah. No chain maintenance. Looks really amazing. The only thing I was a bit disappointed about was... Before it was launched, the green... Is it an S version, the top? It's, yeah, the S is the top. Yeah. It had gold wheels or sort of goldish wheels, which I thought looked unbelievably cool with the green paintwork, but the production versions don't. Oh, they dropped it. I'm pretty certain that it didn't, it wasn't actually launched with those gold mm. wheels, which is a bit of a shame. We really. do like a bit of gold, don't we? Yeah, and it was, it was, it was a really nice non-garish, mm. and it looked, because it's got the single-sided swing arm, you could see loads of the rear wheel, it just looked really, really nice with the green paintwork, which looks great. So I had yeah. no idea why they didn't go ahead with that. Yeah. So, I mean, can you obviously flash some pictures up for the Yeah, Oh, yeah, the there'll video. be pictures on and the screen. And it may be that I'm eating my words and it does have gold wheels, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't. And that's yeah. a bit of a shame. But other than that, I think it looks really interesting. Yeah. I think it's got a Prillia switch gear in the main because they share components, don't yeah. they? Yeah, yeah. Um, are they owned by the same It's the same company? coat as Piaggio. It's all Piaggio. Piaggio, Piaggio it's all group, Piaggio isn't group. it? Yeah, it's Piaggio group. So they're all so, which all I think is a good thing that they share some of the components. Yeah. But it does look good. I think it'd be a great road bike. And it's meant to handle, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I'll be riding one in a couple of weeks' time. So we, we've got, I've got one from a week from Wheels Motorcycle. So you're going to have to have a go on I've it. got to have a go. I'm trying to think what to compare. Because I've got all these bikes coming. I, I, like, th I think the closest competitor, in my opinion, is the BMW R1200... Oh, sorry, R1250R, uh, which is the naked yeah. road bike. Um, it's shaft drive, yeah. similar capacity CC, mm. twin, 
I, I really think well, it's maybe be we close. should try and get hold of one of those. I think and do I, honestly, a, do a I, I think that's and, and I know that they're also a little bit niche, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. But a good yeah. bike, and I because yeah. I, I, I thought about that. Yeah. I think All right, let's yeah. let's do that. Let's I'll speak to BMW yeah. UK and we'll try and get one and we'll do yep. a comparison with Sounds those good. two. Yeah, yeah. Because that'll I'll, be close and yeah. it'll be tough. Because yeah, and I think they've both got crews and some of those creature comforts, yeah. so it's going to be yeah. really really close yeah. actually. And they're probably similar on price. Maybe the BMW. I would imagine the BM, so. The BMW's probably a little bit more expensive. The motor good. She's fifteen seven for the S. So it's going to be similar, isn't it? It's going to be. It's I think, really, really similar. Yeah, I think yeah. the price is going to be more or less. Bang Italians out. versus Germans <laughs> again. Who's going again. to win? No, again, again, exactly. <laughs> okay. But but it'll be that'd be a good yeah. uh, a good little comparison, I think. Yeah. And normally they're teamed up the Germans and the Italians, aren't they? So it makes a change. It's a head. It's a head. There you go. So there we are. So that's that's the bikes I'm most looking forward to. So it's it's not a masses of new bikes coming out this year, but those are the ones which piqued my interest anyway. So yeah. so I yeah. So I can't think of anything else as well. I'm sure no. we'll probably get a few comments of something that we've overlooked, yeah. and if we have, I yeah. apologise for that. But I think everything else, they're just new colours, slightly updated ad yeah. adaptation of the same bike, yeah. aren't they? Really. Yeah. And I think for the first time in quite a few years I'm not in the market for anything new in 2023 <laughs> bloody hell are you sure? it's early days yet though so it's, it's, only it's, early, January. it's only January Give it's, time. it's, it's, it's early time. days I may be tempted but no I, I really think and you that. haven't ridden any yet I, 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 I'm, gonna, <laughs> no, I'm gonna see this year through so yeah. with, with what I've got I'm very happy with where, where, where I'm at to be yeah. honest with you so and I same, think, well, same here really I think you are as well I mean, same amazing here, yeah. H2 behind I mean under these lights yeah. It just looks unbelievable. It's Honestly, it looks so it's something cool, special. It? Yeah. You know, like them or loathe them, you can't deny how amazingly striking it looks. It's just dripping in carbon. It just looks <laughs> so so good. So yeah, well done on the garage. Congratulations yeah, on the cheers, garage. Congratulations it's, it's, on the Congratulations on one hundred thousand yeah, subscribers. Yeah, hundred thousand subscribers, and thanks to everyone who's commented yeah. on Instagram and everything. It, it's, it's, it's incredible. Really it's good, incredible. Good good achievement. So yeah, I, I really incredible. genuinely sincerely hope yeah. that anything that I do when I join well, you drags it doesn't drag. <laughs> Well, the videos you've done, especially the uh, K1600, I've got about 80, 90 subscribers come from oh, really? that. So, yeah, so. Amazing. Uh, well, uh, thank you very much. There you go. So, oh, uh, if you yeah. take those away, I'd actually go back down to my own. You bought me oh, an oh, early. Yeah, yeah, you've you've boosted boost. it. So, so, yeah. Well, very, very good. Much. Very good. So, I think 2023 is going to be a fantastic year for bikes and also a fantastic year for the channel with both of us working together and doing these comparisons and stuff. So, it's going to be more of Greg this year. And uh, give us a, give us a cheers, matey. Cheers. Thanks very much. And cheers to everybody. Happy 2023. Happy and, New Year. Uh, you have a good one. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Thanks very much.